Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to understand why do we assign Pro R and Pro S notation? What is its application? And also we will understand the rules that are necessary to assign Pro R and Pro S descriptor or notation. So let us first understand the application or use of assigning Pro R and Pro S notation. So what is the application? The application is uh, the designations pro R or pro S are assigned to a are assigned to distinguish or to differentiate to distinguish two similar groups or atoms two similar atoms or group in a prochiral center in a prochiral center so we had seen that a tetrahedral group like for example this group this is a prochiral center why because prochiral center is what it is a achiral center a chiral carbon that is it is not chiral why it is not chiral we know these two groups are similar now, if I want to distinguish both these hydrogens, then what we do, uh, we assign pro R and pro S notations for each of these similar groups. And how do we assign that? That we have to see now. That is, what are the rules for assigning pro R and pro S notations? So, first step is you have to replace that particular atom, that same atom, same group or atom with group or atom with its isotope with its isotope or atom having slightly higher atomic mass higher atomic mass and there is a condition you have to replace it with a group such that the priority order of other groups should not get disturbed Priority order, which priority order? The same priority order that we assign while, uh, while assigning RS nomenclature. Okay, so priority order of other groups should not be disturbed. Should be, should not be disturbed or should remain same. Should remain same. Okay, so this is the first one. Second one is then what after replacing with a suitable isotope or group, what you have to do is for that particular after replacing uh, that particular structure, what you have to do is you have to find out RS nomenclature. If the absolute configuration is R, then that particular group or hydrogen, for example, here it is a hydrogen. So that particular group or atom will be called as pro R. Okay, and if the absolute configuration comes out to be S after replacing the similar group, then it is called as pro S. Okay, so now let us try to apply on this molecule. Here, what we have to do, there are two similar atoms, that is, both are hydrogens. We have labeled them one as HA, another as HB, and we have to assign the descriptor, that is, whether it is pro R or pro S. So, first step is let us replace. HA by a slightly higher atomic mass, which means let's say I can replace it by deuterium 2H that is nothing but deuterium. So by replacing it with deuterium, what will happen? The priority order of chlorine and fluorine will not change since deuterium, uh, deuterium also has a atomic number lower than fluorine and chlorine. Okay, so the group that we are replacing should not have atomic number greater than the other two okay so i'm replacing h a by deuterium okay or it is 2 h and according to the priority rules we must know that the priority of the isotopic group is always greater than the initial one that is if the atomic number is same that is hydrogen so atomic number will be same if the atomic number is same then we look on to the atomic mass number the element having atomic higher atomic mass number will have higher priority. Okay, so I'm replacing H A by D. What structure we will get? Chlorine remains as it is. Chlorine remains as it is. 
here I've replaced H A by deuterium. Okay, or I can say 2H and H B will remain same. Now we have to write find out R S for this structure. Okay, so fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, which has higher atomic mass, chlorine. So this will get first priority, this will get second priority. Then just now we saw that if the atom atoms are same, that is atomic number is same, we will see atomic mass number, which has higher atomic mass number, deuterium. So this will get higher priority, third and fourth. Now you can see one, two, 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 three, it is clockwise. So it should be R, but you can see fourth priority group is on the wedge bond. So we will change and make it S. Okay, so here it is S. So HA, what is the designation for HA? HA is pro. This configuration we got S. So this will be pro S. Okay, so if one proton is pro S, automatically other, it is going to be pro R. Okay, because the structure that we will be drawing are going to be enantiomers. Okay, now let us do it for HB. Replacing HB by deuterium or 2H. What we will get? Chlorine. Chlorine. On the wedge bond we have. Now we will have here 2H. And on the dash bond there is H. Okay, again we will do the same thing. Assign the priority 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now you can see 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, it is what? It is clockwise and fourth priority group is on the dash bond. So this here the absolute configuration is R. So this HB is going to be pro R. Okay. So what is HA? HA is pro S and HB is pro R. Okay, let us understand with one more question. This is a question from which book? Again from the same book that we were solving questions that is John McMurray. Okay, John McMurray, which chapter? Stereochemistry. Okay, chapter 5, Stereochemistry. Okay, so again we have to do the same exercise. Let us first write down the structure of this OH, CHO. Here we have OH. On the dash bond, we have hydrogen. Here on the wedge bond, we have wedge bond we have hydrogen let's say we will label this as HA and on the dash bond hydrogen we will label it as HB okay so we have to find out the pro R or pro S notation for the uh, hydrogens that are indicated okay, with the arrows we have to find out for these two hydrogens and for these two hydrogens okay so let us solve okay so first replacing HA by deuterium so this will be OH Okay, this remains as it is. OH on the dash bond. Sorry, OH on the wedge bond, hydrogen on the dash bond. Here we are replacing HA, which is on the wedge bond with, with deuterium, that is 2H. And on the dash bond, there is 1H. Okay, so again, we have to do the same thing. We have to assign priority. Now, this is carbon that is attached to oxygen. Carbon and hydrogen. So which has higher atomic number? Oxygen. So this will get first priority. Then carbon. So this will get second priority. And then this will get third. This will get fourth priority. Now 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. If you see it is anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. So it should be S. And fourth priority group is on the dashboard. So it will remain same. So what is HA? HA is pro S. Because the configuration is S. Similarly, if we do for the other one, let us let us do that HB by deuterium OH. Here we have this group OH on the wedge bond, hydrogen, CHO. Here on the wedge bond, now there will be hydrogen. We are replacing HB by deuterium 2H. Okay, again, let us assign the priority. Oxygen, so this will be 1, this will be 2. This will be 3 and this will be 4. Now 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, it is anti-clockwise, so it should be S. But fourth priority, you can see it is on the wedge bond, so it will be R. We will change S to R. So the correct answer for this is R.
So this HB is what it is pro R. Okay, similarly, let us do for the second molecule H the part B. Okay, so this is let's say HA, HB. So first replacing HA by deuterium 2H. Benzene <coughs> CO2 minus. Here on the wedge bond we have NH3 plus dash bond hydrogen. Here wedge bond we are replacing it by deuterium 2H and dash bond will have 1H. So again we have to assign the priority. Now you can see this is carbon. This is also carbon. But here you can see it is attached to two other carbons. Okay, carbon and carbon. So here we have carbon, carbon, carbon. This carbon if we see it is attached to one carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen. So you can see nitrogen has higher atomic number than carbon. So this will get the first priority. This will be 2, this will be 3 and this will be 4. Now 1, 2, 2, 2, 3 it is what? It is clockwise. Clockwise and fourth priority group is on the dash bond. So the absolute configuration will remain same that is R. Okay, so the first one in HA is what? This is pro R. Similarly, we can do for the other one, replacing HB by 2H. Okay, again on the dash bond here, this is going to remain same, NH3 plus. On the wedge bond and on the dash bond, we have hydrogen, CO2 minus. Here, now on the wedge bond, there is 1H. And on the dash bond, it is going to be 2H. Okay, so now let us assign priority for this. Again, we have seen the priority order. This will get 1, this will be 2, this will be 3, and this will be 4. So 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, it is clockwise. So it should be R, but fourth priority group is on the wedge bond. So we will change R to S. So for the second one, it is S. So the HB it is going to be pro S. So here we come to the end of today's video. I hope you have understood how to assign pro R and pro S notation and what is its application to distinguish the similar atoms in a pro chiral center. This is what this is a pro chiral center because the two groups are same. Thank you so much.